Ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube. Hope you're having a wonderful day and enjoying the pump on CKB this morning. We will break this down. But first, before we do, check me out on Twitter at Real Six Fig. This is where I'm always dropping news, bits of information, and charts when I cannot make it to YouTube to provide everyone with an update on price action. So with that said, CKB is still looking really, really good. Let's just break this down on a one-hour chart, and then we'll work our way out to the daily. How about that? We can see that right now we have a cup and handle, and this is a great sign to see, especially uh, on the one hour chart. I do think that currently we are experiencing a little bit of resistance right around this 0.0223-ish level. So let's just throw up a little horizontal line here. And we know that this has been a pretty tough area for CKB in the recent month because we had some trouble sustaining above it here and we are having some troubles passing it here and same with uh, right here. So this is interesting because we have the cup and handle and I do think that CKB is really forming out a possible ascending triangle here, meaning that I do think that we might be seeing price action consolidate sideways a little bit longer before we proceed forward. And this would make a little bit of sense because we are kind of trading away from the cloud right now. And so I wouldn't be surprised if price action returned down to about the 0.0211-ish level and traded within the 0.022345-ish level. We can see this nice pump this morning. The bulls really tried to drag it above this uh, resistance line, but we could not. And the body of the candle stopped dead right at this resistance. So people are selling off above 0.0223, and we can definitely see that CKB could be getting ready to pull one of these maneuvers and head to the upside. So with that said, let's just throw up a little time sequence here. Uh, I'm going to go from this swing high to this swing low. And we can kind of see in hindsight, this did predict a reversal point right in here. Uh, just depending on where you put this. Uh, bear with me one second here. I would say that if we measure off this candle, we can see that in hindsight that we did have a reversal here. Now we have a red spinning top, which usually is an indication that uh, price is going to reverse. We can see an example of a spinning top here. We can see it here, uh, right here. Uh, this is a doji star. That's another example. Here's another spinning top. So we're seeing something like the market is going to reverse. And I highly suspect that on October 26th, around 6 p.m., we might see price action do another reversal. Whether it's up here or down here, Nobody knows until we get there, right? So the next Fibonacci time sequence after that is October 27th at 10 a.m. Central Time, and that is tomorrow. So whether or not this is the breakout point or maybe the first reversal of Elliott Wave Theory from zero to two, uh, you know, nobody knows until we get there. But it's fun to speculate on that sort of thing. Uh, so right now, I do believe that this could quite possibly be the pattern that we are experiencing right now with CKB. Price is consolidating towards the cloud to move up. And we can kind of see another example of this uh, right down in here. We hit a resistance point up here. We had the ascending triangle form. The lows are getting higher, and that is always good to see. Eventually, the lows converted to uh, positive buying energy. And we can definitely see the Fibonacci, I'm sorry, the Elliott Wave Theory here. Without a doubt, we have Elliott Wave Theory to the upside. And I am still speculating that we will see somewhere around a 0.026 to 
three cent CKB here uh, coming up. So trading view is being extremely slow right now. So I do apologize for that. And my goodness, it's hard for me to even even work the charts. So the 127% level is going to be a tough level for CKB to breeze through. This is a very common reversal point, and so is the 161.8. So if I had to predict a reversal point to place 0.5 of Elliott Wave Theory, it would probably either be at this 127 at 0 0.026 or 0 0.03. So with that said, we might see CKB consolidate a little bit before moving up the next rung on the ladder. And we can see this. You're probably thinking, okay, well, what do you mean the next rung on the ladder? If that does happen, and let's just say we come up to three cents. So say three cents is right about here. I'm definitely expecting on a grander scale for a run to retest all times highs at 0.045. So this is definitely... Uh, in my thoughts right now on when this could potentially happen, nobody knows, but we will just have to uh, keep playing the waiting game. But this is currently panning out to be somewhat of a nice Elliott Wave impulse. The only caveat is that 0.2 to 3 needs to be longer than 0.0 to 1. So we'll see how high this actually climbs. We might climb a little bit higher than 3 cents to make that happen, and we might just see price action work like this over the next month or two and i say over the next month or two this is not a race this is a waiting game for sure but i would i would love to see ckb kind of you know propel itself upwards uh, as fast as possible before everyone else fomos into it uh, so that is kind of my take on ckb at the moment uh, we do have uh, a giant gargantuan inverse head and shoulders, which if you've been hanging around my channel, I've been speculating about this since August. When the price was down here, I said we might be seeing an inverse head and shoulders form, and it did. And this is what sets my channel apart from everyone else. Currently, we got a cup and handle as well. So there's definitely a few different ways you can look at current patterns and price structure. So... I don't think any of it is wrong, but this is probably the path that we might be taking as long as Bitcoin does not shank us from retesting these all-time highs. And it would be awesome to see 0.3 actually be a test of the all-time high and then maybe 0.4 to 5 you know, go higher into price discovery mode or something like that, which would be awesome. The CKB holders need this. Uh, for sure. But with that said, folks, big shout out to all my Patreons. Thank you all for uh, being Patreons, supporting the channel. If you're interested in supporting the channel, it's three bucks a month. You can get your name, YouTube channel name, or business name up on this banner. Thanks again, everyone, for all the support, and I love you all. Mm -hmm.